Good morning, closet friends. So it's another week ahead of us and uh, there's been lots of news this weekend. I was having a little bit of a, a chuckle, I guess that's quite mean actually, but I was reading about the Canadian billionaire who chartered that fancy yacht down in the Bahamas and now they're suing for 10 million in damages because they were so seasick. And it kind of got me thinking about friends who I have who do get seasick but love to cruise and I wonder how many people out there get really badly seasick and the last thing that they could do in their lives would go on a cruise. So a um, bit of a pity if you feel that way. I'm I'm kind of lucky because I do have pretty good sea legs and uh, I don't know if it was because my dad was in the Royal Navy. Maybe I inherited something from him. Uh, I've only once felt slightly dicey and that was in a small yacht that we were sailing off the coast of Durban and um, it was a kind of day, it wasn't really choppy but it was more those big swells and I remember sitting there in the boat thinking, hmm, I don't know, this is a weird feeling but it doesn't feel very nice. So anybody who gets seasick out there, you have my utmost sympathy, it's not a lot of fun. I've been, I've done lots of cruising, so I've been in some pretty heavy seas. Probably the worst was in a very small cruise ship, just a 12,000 ton, in the Mozambique Channel, which is notorious for its storms. And uh, there we had a really bad storm coming back when we were cruising back to Durban. So uh, meal service was stopped completely and uh, anybody who could was invited up into the dining room where we all basically sat on the floor and the wonderful crew cooked up uh, pasta. I think that was the best thing to give everybody in between them running room service of crackers and chicken noodle soup. So yeah, when that hits you, it's, it's not a lot of fun. And uh, I'd be interested to hear from people, what are your remedies? Um, my, my good friend Lindsay, who works with me in the agency, she loves to cruise, but she just knows, you know, we've been on cruises together and if it gets that time of the day or motion of the ship, she'll say, bye guys, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> and it's a, a gravel night for her. Um, but there's something about cruising that people love. And I think it's the flexibility of being in, you know, one place, basically your stateroom, and then being able to go and explore place, places. But mm, yeah, if you're a seasick kind of person, I can't see myself suffering through that. So let me know what your thoughts are and, and how you get on with your seasickness problems if you face them. Cheers. Have a great day.